It's been over a year since Matatu operators were restricted from carrying full capacity due to COVID-19 and today they resume following a memorandum of understanding between the government and Matatu Operators Association. However, they are required to comply with all the protocols set by the Ministry of Health, including sanitizing of passengers before they board, ensuring they have their masks on and checking their body temperature. My name is Teddy, uh, representing City Hopper. Uh, I think uh, it was timely move because as an industry we are struggling. Uh, previously when we are carrying uh, half capacity. Uh, though as much as uh, it was a timely move uh, carrying uh, to the full capacity, uh, things are not back to normal because uh, uh, still a lot of people are working from home. So the number of trips uh, are still uh, very low uh, as compared to uh, the times before the COVID-19. Margaret. Mi ni hasra, nafanyanga kuza chai, nafikia chai yangu kwa nyumba na kuza kuza town. Nafanya saidi za saidi ya Kenko. Sa imi nafilaia kwa kazi ya saidi yangu, juu for the time ka gari jaya capacity, nitakua nimeuzia ndere chai na conductor, so on my side nafilaia kwa kazi ya capacity. Yeah. Kwa majina na hitu wa Emmanuel, mi ni mkazi wa hapa Nairobi. Uh, on the sector of the Matatu, uh, actually, I'm so surprised that the government is doing that uh, the time that there is a spike in COVID. No one expected that. You know, they were supposed to open the economy earlier on, but they are now doing it when uh, the Delta variant has, uh, has, has really ruptured everywhere. But it is just, uh, personally, I think it is race against time for them to, to capture with the economy where it, it has really backslided. So it was just an addition the government had to make. However, uh, I feel that if everyone is to protect themselves by wearing masks and sanitizing, there's no problem because even earlier on people were getting infected and recovering through the home-based home -based care and also in hostels. Uh, that, that, that's all I think, but uh, I actually think that it is a decision that the government had to take Whichever one they made, there is one side that had still to complain. But you know, every decision, they just have to make the decision. So, it is a fair decision for me. But for the Matatu sector, we'll just have to survive. You are Tuna Magari Bado. Yeah, that's all I have. So you're saying it's a personal responsibility for everyone who is boarding the Matatu? Yeah, it, yeah, even earlier on it, it was a personal responsibility, even because with, with the social distancing, you, you, you will still realize that there were cases. So, and also the truth about it is that some Matatus were still carrying the full capacity earlier on. So, it will not be a very big change. Eh, pesa sio vile, lazi kwa zinaingia vile, kwa sababu watu wengi awako vizuri kifedha kwa hivyo kama hii ruti yetu sio watu nachukua gari nachukua muda ndio inajaza customer anaingia mmoja 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 nachukua muda sio ati watu wako vizuri sana economy iko mbaya eh, watu kama size watu ni size tunasema ni january watu wamepeleka watoto shule hawana pesa school fees imechukua yote wengi wanatembea mguu ni mmoja mmoja tu wanaingia mmoja 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 Come on these and other stories log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke My name is Njoki Kehio reporting for Capital FM News